It's the new year. We're waving goodbye to 2022 and welcoming 2023. So Sam, what do you usually do at this time of the year? Well, I think it's a great time for reflection. And I've got this one thing I love to do in particular. I usually flick through my photos of the previous year, just to have another look back at what I've done and seen throughout that year. And like everyone else, I'll, I'll make some New Year's resolutions and try and be better in the upcoming year. I like the idea of using photos to look back on the past year and we actually got some great photos here to show the noteworthy moments of China in 2022. Wow, some of these look fantastic. And you will learn a bit more about the stories behind them. I can't wait. Also, Chinese President Xi Jinping marked the end of 2022 and the start of 2023 in his annual New Year speech. His speech mentioned many of China's defining moments captured by the photos. President Xi has given New Year's speeches since he was elected president, making this the tenth time he addresses the nation and the world. 我在北京向大家致以美好的新年祝福。Sam, 2022 was a crucial year for China. What important meeting was held in Beijing? That would be the 20th National Congress for the Communist Party of China. 2022年,我们胜利召开党的二十大, 全面推进中华民族伟大复兴的宏伟蓝图，吹响了奋进新征程的时代号角。The hot topic discussed at the Congress was Chinese modernization. The CPC said it will advance the rejuvenation of the Chinese nation through a Chinese path to modernization. What also made the Party Congress significant was the unveiling of the new CPC leadership, including the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee. When the new lineup of the party leaders walked on the stage to meet the press, the world was watching. Sam, it's highly unlikely you wouldn't know who this special panda is. I would have had to have been asleep for the past year to not know who that is. It's Bing Dun Dun, the official mascot for the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. And the small, cuddly toy version of Bing Dun Dun was so popular at the time of the Olympics, it was almost impossible to buy one. I was actually one of the few fortunate people that managed to secure one, and he's currently sitting safely in my apartment. It's so cool. Thanks, I know, right? China kickstarted 2020 with Beijing Winter Olympics and Paralympics, which were a big success. Not only did the capital become the world's first ever dual Olympic city, Chinese athletes also achieved the country's best ever Winter Games results. All this is even more admirable, considering it was being held during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Winter Games have also ignited the fervor of Chinese people for winter sports. The goal of involving 300 million people in ice and snow activities has been achieved. Now that's a great photo, and it marks a really important moment in the history of Hong Kong. Right, I was actually there to cover the 25th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to the motherland. And during his speech at the event, President Xi lauded the achievements of the Hong Kong SAR in the past 25 years and the success of One Country, Two Systems. President Xi said One Country, Two Systems had been tested repeatedly in practice and that it served the fundamental interests of not only Hong Kong and Macau, but also the whole country and the nation, noting that it must be adhered to in the long run. So we can't talk about the year 2022 without mentioning COVID. Right, this was the year that we saw China optimize its COVID-19 response policies in light of the situation on the ground. Recently, the focus has shifted from stemming new infections to caring for health and preventing severe cases. Yin 
Now the country is making all-out efforts to provide medicines and services for the patients, and the second booster shots are being administered, and targeted immunization plans for the elderly are being rolled out. President Xi said in the address that tough challenges remain, but everyone is holding on with great fortitude, and the light of hope is right in front of us. 大家再加把劲儿，坚持就是胜利，团结就是胜利。The economy was always an important topic when President Xi delivered his new speeches. Despite challenges posed by the pandemic and the uncertainties of the external environment, China maintained overall economic and social stability in 2022. The Chinese economy has maintained steady growth over the year, with overall stability in employment, prices, and good performance on the balance of international payments. And China's economic output for the year 2022 is expected to exceed 120 trillion yuan. President Xi also mentioned that despite a global food crisis, China has a bumper harvest for the 19th year in a row, putting the country in a stronger position to ensure the food supply of the Chinese people. In the coming year, as people are at last able to plan to travel again, I imagine that holiday plans are already being set in motion. If they travel by air, they very well may be aboard the C919, the first large jetliner designed and made in China. And in fact, the first C919 passenger jetliner was delivered to its first customer, China Eastern Airlines, in early December, which will start carrying passengers in spring. Look at this photo of the ongoing construction of the China Space Station. It really encapsulates the achievements the country has made in sci tech. Meng Tian, China's space station lab module, successfully docked with the core module Tianhe on November the first, and later completed its in-orbit transposition and forming the space station's basic T-shaped configuration, together with lab modules Tianhe and Wentian. In his speech, President Xi hailed that our home in space is roving in the deep blue sky. He also talked about China's third carrier Fujian was launched, and the Baihe Tan hydropower station went into full operation. This all flows from the hard work of thousands of people and blood. A little bit of hope brings hope. This is Chinese power. Looking at this photo, it reminds me that just as China could not develop in isolation from the world, the world needs China for its development. From the World Economic Forum to China International Import Expo, President Xi has sent a strong message of promoting economic globalization and announced new steps to expand a higher standard opening up. This year, I was in Beijing, meeting many new friends, and also walked out of the Chinese speaking forum to promote. In 2022, President Xi made his first overseas visit since the pandemic. In the period before and after the 20th CPC National Congress, from Samarkand, Bali, Bangkok to Riyadh, he attended five multilateral summits and held bilateral meetings with leaders of more than 40 countries. On these occasions, Xi has voiced strong support for real multilateralism and promoted cooperation with other countries, helping address global challenges and providing certainty for a world full of uncertainties. Looking ahead, President Xi stressed endeavor and solidarity, saying that going forward, China will be a country that performs miracles through hard work and a country that draws its strength from unity. He also called upon the youngsters to prove worthy of the times and the splendor of the youth. We have reviewed the photos, and now it's time to make our New Year resolutions. Sam, you can go first. Oh, okay. So I want to improve my diet, but also I want to encourage my family to be more healthy as well. And I want to learn boxing, and I want to spend more time with my family and be healthier. Sounds fantastic. And with that, we'd like to wish everyone watching a happy new year. Happy new year! 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 祝愿大家新年快乐，皆得所愿。